Hi, I'm Sandata, here at Villarreal Jr. Welcome to Video Assisted Instruction Software Package Series. Today, we are in our lecture number 9, week 5. Let's proceed to our topic for today. So the first topic goes to apply conditional formatting. The second is rename and move a worksheet. And the last we have check spelling. Now let's proceed to our first topic. Okay, Excel can format cells based on specific results, such as automatic application of formatting attributes on cell values is called conditional formatting. Different formats are automatically applied if the data meets conditions you specify. Data bars are the type of conditional formatting that visually illustrate differences among values. In figure 34 shows an image of preview data bars in a range. So you will notice here on our conditional formatting data bar is one of them. And in data bar we have a, what you call gradients field. So you can uh, choose which suited from your data to present. Now in figure 35 shows an image of between dialog box right here under conditional format. So you can call the value is you're going to interpret here the column and row and the ending the beginning and the ending. Now in figure 36 shows an image of worksheet with conditional formatting. So you will notice the changes in different formats shows different interpretations. Now let's proceed to our second topic Rename and move a worksheet. By default, an Excel workbook initially contains one worksheet, name sheet 1, in our new version 2016 and 2019. To move to another sheet, click its sheet tab so that it can identify the second one, sheet 2. To make it easier to identify the sheets, you can rename each sheet and add color to the tabs. So you can modify these sheets or you can format this sheets okay so that you can identify more deceiving and more applicable the last is you can change the order of sheets by dragging the sheet tabs so right here we have figure number 37 shows an image of moving the budget sheet okay so this one is one of the format you can color you can fill the color of the, the background even also the text or font even the value and the column itself and row. In figure 38 shows an image of reordering sheets. So right here, if you're going to sort your sheets, so under sheets, you can click that and you can identify sort sheets here. Sorting is something like arranging or reordering your worksheet. Now let's proceed to our last topic, check spelling. The spelling checker scans the worksheet and flags possible mistakes and suggests corrections. To, I to check other worksheets in a workbook, display the worksheet and run the spelling checker again. Add words to that are spelled correctly but are not recognized by the spelling checker. So in figure 39 shows an image of spelling English US dialog box. And you will notice there's a what you call dictionary. And if you're going to type right here that is not in the dictionary, it will give you a suggestion right here below, such as Apple, that is a double P, so it suggests double P. And then you can click change if you want to change the error, or if it is correct, you can click ignore once. But there are, if there are plenty, uh, like this and this is considered to be correct in spelling then you can ignore all so we are finished under validation we finish the three topics we have right now and congratulations you successfully finish our lecture number nine that's all for today thank you for watching and good luck